What's going on, man? Hope all is well. Uh, hope you're enjoying uh, Ice World and uh, hope your allergies are doing better over there. Um, allergies suck. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully everything's going well over there. Um, dude, that sucks about your uh, hernia. Uh, I actually, before I worked with you, um, I got a hernia. And I think it was, it was 2015, um, I got an umbilical hernia. Um, and I remember the exact set. I think I, I think I remember the exact reps. I was doing 531, just like everybody else was. And uh, it was like an AMRAP on 405 on deadlift. And I think I got, I think it was eight reps. And uh, yeah, felt like this, felt some pain in my balls. And uh, then I felt this like bulging feeling in my belly button and went to go see a doctor and sure enough had an umbilical hernia so um yeah the only thing i'm sure inguinal is the same way the only thing that can fix it is surgery so unfortunately you'll probably have to do that eventually um i did it pretty much right away and it's kind of it's not too bad of a surgery like you're out um i think it was yeah out same day and uh it pretty painful uh pretty painful for a few days but get right back on it after a little while so and i've had not, i have not had any issues since so no big deal um your client is insane uh the guy that you were going to compete against um 666 squat 345 bench over 700 dead like that's just insane so yeah i assume he probably will win uh nationals then because i think because i assume bryce is not competing in nationals i think He's doing single ply stuff right now. Tell me if I'm wrong, but dude, that's freaking sick though, man. That's gonna be pretty exciting for you. Um, and then yeah, uh, talking about the tempo bench, doing uh, it's like the holy grail of uh, <laughs> um, bench variations. Like you've hit, you found the holy grail. Uh, and I just want to make like, are you really gonna do a video with Bryce on it? Because that'd be freaking sick, um, super sick. But yeah, I, I, I agree with you, man. It's got to be like. It's just more pressing volume without the added stress to the shoulder joint, you know? So, um, yeah, I totally agree. Um, just to touch on how I feel and everything, uh, body weight, right around 208. You'll be happy to hear that. Uh, shoulders feeling great um, because of the holy grail tempo bench, tempo board press bench. Uh, SI joint's okay. SI joint's been a little hit or miss. Um, kind of has been hurting just a little bit, but... Um, it hasn't been anything too bad, so it hasn't really affected my training at all. And the glute has been okay as well. Um, again, hasn't really affected my training too much. As long as I'm consistent with it and doing my rolling and stretching every single day, it keeps it at bay. So uh, just to kind of touch on the week, um, 335 by 5 squat and a 230 by 5 bench on Monday went really well. Um, Monday's probably my best session. Super fresh, feels super good. Oh, and then uh, on Wednesday, hit uh, 475 for five deadlift, which was freaking smoke show. And then uh, 225 by four tempo. Um, that one was kind of hard. Um, I don't think it looked too bad, but it was that one was pretty dang hard. <laughs> 225 by four, which is pretty darn close to what I comp bench, so pretty cool to see. Uh, then on Friday, um, hit 355 by for three again on squat. Um, felt okay. Uh, Friday squats seemed to always be my worst one, so um, just kind of later in the week. But so yeah, it went okay. Um, I think it, it was appropriate RPE. It's just the weight felt so freaking heavy. It's super weird because like 335 by five felt like nothing, and then 355 by three feels so much heavier. Um, and then 245 triple on bench that pretty sure blew up so pretty excited there and then rounded out the week with a 500 triple on deadlift and 230 double on tempo bench and those both went really well so um yeah overall body's feeling pretty good so and i just hit uh yesterday 340 for five and 234 or five and absolutely smoked both of them so super pumped everything's feeling pretty good so, uh, head on to the training here. All right, man, here's my training for the week. Uh, here's that 335 by five squat. Again, this was a uh, piece of cake. And I did, ended up doing 340 yesterday. Um, 
keys work just like this. So super happy with uh, where my fives are on squat. Um, feeling pretty darn good. Moving on this same day to bench. Um, hit a 230 by 5 bench. Um, I had made a note on my sheet that I would like to pause these a little bit longer. So I retook 230 by 5 yesterday and paused them longer and still smoked them. So I would say that I have dominated this weight now <laughs> as of week 7. Um, here's my deadlifts. Uh, 475 I thought these looked really clean really good so um, yeah just absolutely smoked these not a ton to say there and then moving on to tempo bench uh, the holy grail of bench variations uh, 225 by 4 um, which super happy with that weight. Pretty crazy that I'm throwing up that weight. Um, this was pretty hard though, I'm not going to lie. This uh, took a lot out of me. But um, still though, super happy. And then moving on to Friday, we're at 355 triple on squat. Again, I think it moved okay, but man, I was just, it just felt so damn heavy again. So, but again, I think it moved pretty well, so. Not any complaints there. And after that, I hit my uh, 245 triple on bench, and this went up just like an absolute smoke show. So, super happy with how this went. Then, moving on to Saturday, uh, 500 triple on deadlift. And this was, uh, again, pretty darn easy. Could have done a little bit more back extension there, but um, still overall, I don't think my back was rounding really too bad. So, I thought that was pretty well in the pocket. Pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, 230 double on the tempo. So, that's all for the week, man. Again, hope you're enjoying Iceland, and uh, talk to you soon.